All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moss Boss Show. And in today's episode, so I wanted to explain it to some of the newer content creators just emerging into the scenes. How does the internet algorithm work? Because it don't matter whether you're on TikTok. It don't matter whether you're on YouTube, Twitter. It don't matter what platform you're on. The algorithm is, it's its pretty much, you're taking a 50-50 gamble on, like, if whatever video that you post, it's a 50% chance of it, you know, going viral or reaching the audience that you want it to reach and stuff. Because I have to say, for me, uh, throughout the years of being a content creator, yeah, the algorithm, it's, yeah, it's been a 50-50 thing, you know? Sometimes videos hit. Sometimes videos don't hit. And with me, I look at it as like, hey, look, I would rather take that chance of it not hitting than like years later down the road. Because that's what really content creating what it really is. It's like it's a long term investment type career and stuff. So it might not hit at that moment. But some point in time down the road, you'll look up and be like, dang, that video is getting a lot of views and stuff. So yeah, and it's and then it's crazy. That's another thing about content creating is that you'll upload a video on TikTok, for an example, gets no views. You upload it on the YouTube, gets a gang of views. Upload it on the uh, Instagram, yeah, it'll probably get some views and stuff. But it is the same with Instagram. You upload a video on Instagram, gets no views. Upload it on TikTok, get a bunch of views. Upload it on YouTube, might get some views. It's really it, it's like a yes no maybe type thing, you know? Because no, yeah, content creating in the algorithm just within the internet. It's it's weird. It's weird at times. I've had videos blow up on Facebook. It's crazy. I'll post a video on Instagram, that same video, because they have it set up where if you post a video on Instagram, it automatically gets shared to uh, Facebook. So I've had videos uh, not really hit on Instagram, but it'll do well on Facebook. And I'm like, bro, what what is this algorithm, bro? Like, it, it's weird. So yeah, that's why my best advice that I could give out to any content creators out there, whatever video that you're working on, just take a chance on it because you never really know if that video will hit or not. I would. My thing is this. I'd rather, have, like I said, rather have it where I upload that video, it doesn't hit, and then at some point in time, it hits on. Um, it hits later on and stuff. So, yeah, man, the uh, the YouTube algorithm, um, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, all like internet algorithm and stuff. It's it's all weird, you know. But um, yeah, to go like really deeper in depth with it because I know. Uh, you guys might have some questions, so I'll try to answer some of those questions and stuff within the uh, um, this episode and things. But I know you'll probably you probably be thinking to yourself like, okay, well, why is it that I'll post a gaming video? So like, yeah, let's say for an example, you post a video of yourself playing um, some role playing servers in Grand Theft Auto, or showing off how many kills you got in Warzone, or what are some other stuff? Um, seeing how many uh, uh, like rounds you can last in zombies. A lot of videos have been uploaded of people doing that already. So you have to sit down and think about it though. Because when you upload a video, there's millions of other videos being uploaded. And that ain't just on YouTube. That's all over the internet. So you have to sit down and think about it. If you're, it's really about marketing yourself because if you market yourself, what you should do is, yeah, post that video on the YouTube, but take clips of it and post it all throughout social media. So if you're, so like, let's say for an example, you got enough subscribers and views to get your videos monetized on uh, uh, YouTube. So yeah, pretty much like what you want is that you want to be that mascot standing out in front of the uh, restaurant and stuff like people gonna see that wild looking uh, mascot and pretty much like yeah that's what uh that clip is it needs to be a wild clip from that video and you don't need to like make it wild like if it's already a wild clip then yeah um you know post it but if not that then yeah just post and alert people like hey i posted a new vlog today and it could just be like little uh, like, um, just parts of your vlog or your gaming video or your comedy skit, whatever it is, you know, but do not under any circumstances clickbait. People get, they don't like that. People do not like clickbait. So if you got like some dramatic title, like, oh my God, I saw the most epic thing in my whole life. And then it's your like face looking all crazy and stuff. It is just you seeing a butterfly. Like, yeah, bro, people gonna probably be all like comment saying, like, fam, have you never seen a butter a butterfly before? So yeah, if you title it like seeing a butterfly for the first time in my life, then yeah, that might attract some attention. It might, like I said, 50-50 chance, you know? 
But um, yeah, if it's you know, if it's up where it's because that's that's the thing about content creating is that content is interesting and not interesting at the same time. So some people may find it interesting that you've seen a butterfly for the first time. Others might be like, okay, what's the point? Like, bro, it's a butterfly. Like you, it's, it's, it's not like you're, it's like you're seeing a rocket being launched or something. And then to some people that might be interesting. And then to others that might not be interesting. So yeah, people will probably be all like, bro, you just like, you've never seen a, a rocket be launched before. It's like, it ain't like it's, seeing the president and then like just it, it's yeah just a constant circle you know some people might find it interesting that you've seen the president some others may not find it interesting so yeah it's one of those things where it's like you at the end of the day should be the only one interested by your content but at the same time it's like what would you want to see i guess like stepping out of your shoes and then being your fan and stuff what would you want to see as your fan so yeah and it's like if you don't want to be misled then yeah you can't do that to your fans you can't mislead fans i remember people try calling me out for clickbaiting in the video and i'm like fam that wasn't clickbait you can watch that video in that part of the thumbnail that is in the video so it, it, it ain't even like because no that's what the video was it was like um like crazy twitch um moments or something like that and so the girl, turns out the girl wasn't even streaming. Like, she was a particular, uh, um, how, how can I put this in words? Let's just say she uploads videos that's not allowed on YouTube due to the fact of a very revealing, uh, activity that she's doing and stuff. So, anyways... Yeah, she goes ahead and um, she makes it seem like that she was streaming on Twitch. She wasn't even really streaming on Twitch. I, re I remember reading into it. And um, yeah, all she just did was like, you know, well, she was acting like she was playing a game. She really wasn't. She was uh, like I pretending that she was ending off a stream. But then, uh, yeah, started going to a another revealing video and stuff. And then, uh, yeah, she had removed her her undergarments and proceeded to doing an activity that makes you um feel good i i don't know bro I, I tried to keep it as pg as i possibly could but i felt like yeah i i dug myself into a hole where it's uh <laughs> can't can't come back from that but anyways jokes aside and all that stuff aside but yeah, I was like, I was shocked because at the time being, I was all like, hey, yo, this girl's crazy. But then when you look into it, then it's all like, oh, th yeah, this girl, she she's just trying to promote what she got going on and stuff. And I'm like, fam, you know, there's there's other ways of uh, going about that type of stuff. By the way, if I sound like I'm getting distracted or if my voice keeps going back and forth, it's because I'm watching wrestling right now. So, um, yeah, just 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 bear with me. OK, but. Anyways, um, but yeah, you know, you'll have people out there that'll do stuff like that. And for the moment, yeah, they're like, they're, they're like, it ain't like they're trying to be a part of the algorithm. They are the algorithm. So yeah, you'll have people that'll do that. They'll do some stuff that'll stand out. And, uh, and I'm not saying that you got to do that. My, the best advice I could give you about being a content creator is being yourself, you know, being yourself. And then, yeah, if being yourself is not good, then yeah, maybe you shouldn't be a content creator. You know, I feel like you need to overall find and fix some things about yourself. If the only thing that you want to do is being a content creator is hurting other people or messing up other people and what they got going on, then yeah, fam, like I, I can tell you right now, that's not going to last. I've seen people where they have done some scamming stuff. It don't last. I've seen where people, they've done some hateful stuff. It don't last. It It's the positive things in this world where it's like it lasts. And you know, it'd be some people out there. I remember somebody, they told me that a while ago, um, like some years ago where they was like, you can't always be positive. And I'm like, you can like if you choose not to be positive then fam that's on you but i'm like anybody on the internet can be positive so yeah it, it's just something where i'm like i don't i don't necessarily i get like if you're going after people that are negative and they do messed up things then okay you know but if you're just going after people just because like you trying to start some like internet bullying stuff then yeah that that stuff don't usually last you know it's like that's that's one thing about it and then it's the funny thing is like how I just said, like, if you're going after people that's already doing bad stuff, then, then yeah, that's good. And that's most likely what's going to be happening to them internet bullies. They're going to meet their match, and then eventually, at some point in time, they're going to be like, dang, well. And then, yeah, that's when, yeah, you just end up seeing them, like, falling apart and all that stuff, so... But anyways, yeah, I guess, like, if you're just doing things to have fun and, you know, just, I guess, like, 
what else? Just do things that's different. Do things that's never been done before. And I know a lot of people might be all like, you know, well, it's with the internet, like getting into content creating. That's kind of hard trying to find stuff that's never been done before. That's why it should be when it comes down to being like doing a video. So like, let's say for an example, if you're doing a reaction video and stuff. So the best way of going about a reaction video is just, yeah, like I said, being yourself. You know, you can't do the same thing that I'm doing. You can't do the same thing that somebody else is doing. You got to do your own thing. So that's when you got to sit down, kind of come up with a game plan, figure out some stuff, and then eventually start doing those videos and stuff. But yeah, it's like, I, I know there's at times where people they will i guess try to like copy others and yeah that even stuff like that that don't last it's like you know you gotta stand out in things but stand out in a way where it's going to benefit you and not put you in a situation you know so yeah it's one of those things where it's like i yeah i've seen where people they've done stuff where uh it doesn't really benefit them and it puts them in a jacked up situation and, uh, yeah, you'll see where sometimes those people disappear. You'll see when those people, they'll be all like, hey, like, that video wasn't meant to be like that and stuff. So, yeah, it's like with content creating, it can it can be a very confusing and overwhelming place. Like, even at times, I get confused by content creating and stuff. So, I have to say, like, content creating, it's like I said with that 50-50 stuff. 50% of it makes sense. 50% of it doesn't make sense. Like, you'll see some videos where it's like, how does that get views? How does that go viral? How how does that like what like what what is that? I I remember the one video of the guy where it was a situation where he overall became the algorithm, but he became the algorithm for the wrong reasons because he does a video of himself eating food in front of homeless people, and I'm thinking to myself, how does that? make it and I guess like in a way yeah he did do something different he stood out but it's like stuff like that don't last like I don't even know that guy's name because why he did not last as a content creator you can't do stuff like that and then thinking like oh you're gonna have this big old giant successful career another example this guy is like going around um punching people and uh yeah he'll just randomly just sucker punch them and then just be like oh it was just a joke it's just a prank and what happened to him he ended up getting a court case and stuff and yeah it's like you can't do things like that or even the uh oh my god the youtube pranking people oh bruh i'm telling you like some years ago you had people walking up on other people talking about empty your pockets, you know, running up on like people that they ain't even like no situation where they look like they can fight. You know, by default that they can fight. And um, yeah, you just said you had some people out there that just be doing some like wild and outlandish stuff when it comes to content creating. So yeah, that's one thing about it with content creating. You can't do stuff like that. You know, like as, as much as you know, like, yeah, them guys be getting views and all that stuff. Yeah, it's um, it's it's not needed. And you're like I said, you're not going to last. And I know people be thinking like, oh, I'm going to cut a little quick check and things like, oh, then that was the other guy. He was going around um, pouring random like substances on people and stuff like he'll just mix up a bunch of things. Some of it was nasty. It's, I think he did one video where it was paint. And, um, yeah, he'll just go around and just do this to people. And then it's like, it ended up being a situation where the cops started looking for him and he had to stop. I don't know if he's still doing that stuff today, but yeah, it's like at times people, they'll do things and it's like, bro, you, I don't, you're, you're putting out a bad name for content creators. Like there's people out there that's trying to make a name for themselves. I'm currently watching wrestling right now. So, okay. So I was like, I thought they were about to get to a match and I was like, all right, hold on for a second. But anyways, um, but Hold on, they look like they about to start showing stuff. So, hold on for one second. All right, I'm back. There's just not, it was just some stuff going down with Kofi Kingston. And I'm like, bro, wait a second, Kofi Kingston turning heel? I'm like, nah, that's, that'd be some crazy stuff. But anyways, um, but no, yeah, to close out this uh, episode, I feel like there's more things to uh, talk on when it comes to content creating and the algorithm and then what content matters and doesn't matter pretty much. Um, the algorithm, like if you're trying to be a part of that, you know, you got to be working on content creating day and night. Like you can't really take no breaks and stuff. It's funny because no, speaking of wrestling, so they were, um, it was Shawn Michaels that was talking about, uh, another wrestler named Carmelo Hayes, like for the new, uh, well for, yeah, for the older wrestling fans that might not be watching all that much of wrestling right now, Car Carmelo Hayes is a newer wrestler and, um, uh, no, Shawn Michaels was saying that because of his size, like, he's gonna have to put in a lot of work and stuff because, yeah, there's still, like, this whole, 
uh thing going on with smaller wrestlers where it's like you know yeah if you're somebody like Rey Mysterio you know yeah it's like you already made a name for him um for yourself and things like he's like the I I'm I don't, I don't know if I could call him like the OG small guy but I feel like he's like the Michael Jordan or LeBron James of small guys and wrestling and stuff so yeah he's somebody that stood out I could be wrong but I'm just saying, growing up, it's like, yeah, you know, they're like, okay, maybe not comparing them to, like, Michael Jordan or LeBron James, but he's a legend, you know, he, yeah, he's just overall a legend when it comes down to the small guys and stuff, but, no, yeah, he was saying that, like, when you're a smaller uh, wrestler, you gotta put in a lot of work and stuff, you know, you can't take no days off, and he meant that, like, figuratively and physically and stuff, like, you know, you gotta put in some work and things, so, but maybe he did, maybe he didn't mean it physically. Maybe he just meant this, like you know, like yeah, because like people don't really know who you are, so you really got you can't take no days off and stuff. And that's how it is with content creating. Like when you're a small content creator, you can't take no days off. You know, so yeah, that's something where it's like, well, you see me where I'm all like, I'm posting videos, podcasts, episodes, I'm posting stuff left and right every day and things because why I am a small creator, I cannot take no days off. So that's probably the main thing that you got to do. And if you can't think of no content fam, whatever it is that you want to talk about or with it like, you know, like I said, it might not hit at first, but at some point in time, it will hit. All right. So but Anyways, with that being said, I will talk to y'all later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening. Stay tuned for the next episode. Like, subscribe, viewing this on YouTube. Follow or subscribe, viewing this on podcast streaming service. Thank you guys and peace.